Hey guys, it's Sammy. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to be doing my March wrap up. March was such a good reading month for me. I can't even express how many amazing books I read. I read five books in the month of March. Four of them were five stars and one of them was 3.5 stars, I'm pretty sure. But honestly, I really did enjoy all the books I read and I'm just really excited to discuss them with you. So honestly, without further ado, let's get into it. So the first book I read in the month of March was an audiobook and that was Waking Gods by Slovain Nouvelle. This was the sequel to Sleeping Giants, which I read last year that I really enjoyed. Um, I think I give it like a 4 or 4.5 stars. This book, however, so much better than the first book and the audiobook full cast amazing. I obviously gave this 5 stars. It was so, so good. If you don't know what Sleeping Giants is about, it's about these researchers who are kind of traveling the world to find these big parts, kind of build this thing. It's super good, it's super interesting. The first book's more of like a build up and the Waking Gods was definitely like the climax, I feel like, of this whole series. They introduced so many great new characters and it was just such an improvement over the first book and the first book was so good, so this was just amazing. I highly, highly, highly recommend the audiobook. The only thing I found confusing about the audiobook, and this isn't even like this, goes to show how authentic the audiobook is. Some of the characters in this do have heavy accents, um, so it was kind of hard to understand at some points, but I think that goes to show how authentic the book is. With that being said, definitely check this out. I mean, the next book I read in the month of March was another amazing, amazing audiobook, and that was Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. If you don't know what Ready Player One is about, it's basically about this futuristic world where life is kind of really terrible so this man has created this online virtual reality where you can basically live in and you can work you can go to school you can do all of it that you can do in the real world it's just in a virtual world and once the guy who created this virtual world dies he sent starts this scavenger hunt which basically entails all these people trying to find these clues so that they can win his fortune. Once again, a book that absolutely blew me away. I'd heard amazing things, but I wasn't sure if I was going to really get it. I'm not really into video games, so I was really nervous that I wouldn't like this book at all, but it was so much fun. It was really easy to follow along with, even though I really didn't know a lot of the references. The audiobook was so great. It was narrated by Will Wheaton. I 100% recommend it, even if you aren't sure that you were going to like the concept. So great, so much fun. I definitely recommend it. I also haven't seen the movie yet, but I'm really excited to watch that as well. And I'm actually going to skip the new next two books I read because I'm just going to skip to the last one, which was another audiobook, and that was Dumplin' by Julie Murphy. So this book was so hit or miss for me. If you don't know what Dumplin's about, it's basically about this overweight girl whose mom is really into pageants and she kind of lives in the shadow of her and one day she just decides that she's going to enter this pageant. I'm more to it than that and honestly I was surprised by how much the pageant really wasn't the focus of the book but my feelings on this were so mixed because part of it I really enjoyed. I really liked the audiobook. I really liked listening to the accents. I love southern accents. I thought the story in the beginning was fun but also just very odd. Like the romance in this is just a little odd and I've never in a book really not liked how like a love triangle sort of thing worked out and this kind of like didn't work for me. Like it kind of made me irritated with the main character on the choices she made ver like regarding the guy she picked and that was just kind of annoying. Also the char the main character uh, Willow Dean kind of came off as like snotty and just kind of annoying. And there's definitely a lot of girl and girl hate, which happens, so I'm not mad that it's in here. But I really just didn't feel like reading it. I don't know. Because I did enjoy a lot of the messages that this had, and I thought it was an interesting read and it was fun. But also the main character really was not my cup of tea. So I would recommend this, especially... I don't know how great the fat rep is. This is technically an own voices novel, um, but I don't, I can't attest to how good it is. I liked it. I thought it was good. Um, I think I'll be reading the second book, which is put in, and I think that comes out in May. I, I'm not entirely sure, which centers around a side character that was in this book that I liked a lot more than Willow Dean. So I'm kind of excited about that, but yeah, we'll see. And then the books that you guys have been waiting for me to read for years and years. 
I read in the month of March the first two books in the Harry Potter series, The Sorcerer's Stone and Chamber of Secrets. I'll put them both here. <sighs> Starting off with The Sorcerer's Stone, this book I read in one day, which is something that I haven't done in so, 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 so long. And it was so much fun. The first book I think is the book that I knew the most about because I think I'd seen parts of the movie before. So there was a lot of the parts of the plot that I did know, but I was surprised by how much I really didn't know as well. Once Harry got to Hogwarts, everything was like totally fun. Everything was interesting. And I was surprised at like how many plot twists I didn't see coming. I was just honestly so impressed with this first book. I thought it really set up everything so nicely. Um, I was just overall super impressed. I don't really have many complaints about the first book. I know a lot of people are gonna ask like, like what's my who's my favorite characters and the first book I really really just loved like the three main characters that we're not really in there's so many people that I still haven't been introduced to that so many people talk about um so I'm not really like up to date with all that but and then I read Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets which I will say I did like more than the first book I thought it was just so like once again so much fun we meet more characters I thought like the whole premise of it was like really interesting once again a lot of stuff I didn't see coming I actually do plan on doing reviews for these and they're not really reviews it's more of like me talking more in depth about what happened I'm really like I'm really into these books like they're so much fun um the one thing I will say about these first two books is I find it slightly irritating how nonchalant JK Rowling goes about the Dursleys I find it really annoying that even though like the things that the Dursleys do to Harry while he's staying with them is absolutely horrid. It's kind of like played off as a joke and every like so far for every break he has been sent back to live with them. And I find that so incredibly irritating. I hope in the future books that is not the case because it is so irritating watching him watching everybody not really take it seriously and they still send him back to what is definitely an abusive home so that is really irritating to me because it's kind of like sweeped off as they're just quirky and crazy which they are but they're also so abusive um they made him live under a um staircase they did not feed him when he was like acting up they put bars on his window so many very very disgusting things and it's kind of just played off as really quirky which i get it's a children's sort of book you don't want to make it too serious but i feel like it should be taken in a slightly more serious light that's just kind of annoying to me uh, but other than that really i love these two first two books i'll be talking more in depth about them in my reviews to come um, also, the reason I started reading this is because I went to Harry, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter at Universal Studios in Orlando. Um, I'll link up, a, I made a little vlog, I think it's over on the side, about it. So much fun, loved it. But yeah, I've also seen the first two movies, I really love them. It's crazy how much they stay true to the books. Like, I understand now why everyone's like, has really high expectations for movie adaptations because they follow it almost to a T which is like ridiculous. I've never like realized that about anything. So yeah, five stars for both of them, obviously. Love them both. All right, guys, so that's really it for this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Comment down below some of the best books you read in March. I would love to talk about them with you guys. I hope you guys all have a great day.